with permission from Scholastic, Whoosh Went the Wind, written by Sally Derby and illustrated by Vincent Nugent. I'm late, I'm late, but it's not my fault. I started for school in plenty of time, but the minute I stepped outside, the wind whooshed over me. Oh, how the wind was blowing. It snatched laundry from our clothesline and tangled it in the trees. I climbed tree after tree and tossed clothes down until, hurry, mom said, you'll be late. You should have listened to her. Oh, I did. I whizzed down the street while the wind zigzagged ahead, whisking dandelions out of the grass and heaping them in my way. The wind blew and the golden hill grew. A hill of dandelions? Now, really? It's true. I climbed that dandelion mountain, but then something fell at my feet. The post office flag was flapping so hard, its stars fluttered down to the sidewalk. I picked up the stars till my pockets were full. Then, just as the clock struck eight, the wind blew open the doors of Milady's millinery shop. Those heavy doors blew open? I find that hard to believe. But they did. The wind huffed into the store and sent hats like flowered frisbees sailing out the door. I ran and I jumped. I caught all that I could till I held a hat bouquet. I was taking them back inside when I heard a clatter and clang. Traffic signs began flying. The wind jumbled them then dropped them in spots where they were never meant to be. Flying traffic sign, you must be kidding me. It's true, it really is. Cars stopped while drivers dithered, so I directed traffic until a policeman came. And still the wind kept blowing. It whirled away a picket fence and dropped the pieces on the playtime preschool playground. I couldn't stay, so I hurried on. But as I ran past Dippy Deli, I heard people clapping and laughing. The wind had gathered all the strays in town and was nestling them among the groceries and people's shopping carts. Free pets at Dippy Deli, now you're going too far. But it's true, and that's not all. Five chickens and a rooster floated to town on the wings of that wandering wind. They clucked and squawked on the courthouse roof and ignored their farmer's calls. But I had popcorn in my lunch bag, so I scattered it around and the chickens came flapping down. You expect me to believe you had just happened to have popcorn in your lunch bag? It's true, I always do. We caged up the chickens and I sped along. Then, just as I cut through the park, the wind sighed a foggy breath. The fog grew deep, the park grew dark. Soon all I could see was gray. A ghostly figure loomed and I shook with fright, but it turned out to be just the statue in the middle of Lion Fountain. So there was the fountain, but which way was out? You're saying you were lost in a fog, lost on the way to school? It's true, I was lost, till the wind caught its breath and blew away, the fog. Then I sprinted along the wind in my face, and wind in my hair, and my shoes hardly touching the walk. What magic the wind was blowing. It banged a hundred screen doors all at once. It told the church bells upside down and sent the pigeons flying. Then with a roar, the wind whooshed me up. I soared over roads and rooftops. I floated past towers and trees. Birds flapped beside me. Clouds brushed my hair. And just when I thought I'd never get back, softly as a kitten's breath, it set me down right by the school's front door. I guess you don't believe me. You're right. I don't believe you. But it's true. It's all true. Can't you hear the wind calling? Just open the window and see.